That is hmm. so interesting. I yeah. mean, is that something that um, that they are able to, I, I guess the question is how far are they able, really able to predict here? They, they do 30, 60, 90 day outlooks. Um, they do 6 to 10, 8 to 12 day outlooks as well. Obviously, for forecasting for tomorrow, we're going to be much more accurate than we are 31 days down the road. You know right. what I mean? Right. Uh, but it is an overall trend. And oftentimes here I see we get a couple warm weeks in September and we get a couple warm weeks in October before it turns really. Yeah. Are you ready for it to turn? No. No. Okay. No. So the heat no, wave no. continues <laughs> then. Uh, we've been in the low 90s, low to mid 90s. In fact, for four days in a row officially so far, we have missed 90 today. 89 still plenty warm, plenty humid. It has felt like the low to mid 90s most of the afternoon. Sunset this evening is at 822. Clouds we had from the leftover rain and storms from last night actually did us a favor, keeping the instability down and keeping temperatures down at least a few degrees. We're currently at 89, but dew point sitting in that miserable range in the upper 60s and low 70s is the reason it feels so uncomfortable. Feeling like 93 in Indianapolis, feeling like 95 in Richmond and Shelbyville, feeling like 100 in Bedford. So high heat, high humidity continue to be uh, weather that we're concerned with the next couple of days. Also a storm chance, not a lot to show you on live Doppler 13 radar. We've got a couple of storms in between Columbus and Seymour moving very slowly across the southern sections of Bartholomew County. We've got some slow movers near Mitchell as well. This uh, rain heavy at times could quickly lead to some standing water on area roadways. We remain under the threat of severe weather tonight, not under the threat Thursday, but it does return on Friday. So still warm, still muggy and the weather pattern still active when all the way through Friday, especially for the heat 1 to 7 p.m. Thursday and Friday afternoons. Be sure to take it easy. Those heat index values 95 to 100 can't rule out. As I mentioned, a couple strong to severe thunderstorms. When that happens, go inside. Have a plan B for those outdoor activities. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon with a stray storm, upper 80s and low 90s. A storm around on Friday again, upper 80s and low 90s. Heat humidity continues along with that rain chance through at least the end of the work week, start of the weekend, and then the weather pattern will make that change. You can see the temperature drop, still a bit muggy with a rain chance Saturday, but less humid with sunshine on Sunday, high 84, 70s back next week.